The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare large oligomeric DNA binding proteins, such as MGM-101, using the maltose binding protein, or MBP, tagging strategy. This is accomplished by first cloning the MGM-101 open reading frame downstream of MBP in the PMAL C2E vector for expression in E. coli. The MBP-MGM-101 fusion protein is then purified from E. coli by amylose affinity chromatography. MGM-101 is then released from MBP by proteolytic cleavage and separated from MBP by cation exchange chromatography. Finally, the MGM-101 rings are purified to homogeneity by size exclusion chromatography. Ultimately, approximately 0.8 mg of soluble MGM-101 from 1 liter of bacterial culture can be used for biochemical and structural characterization of this protein which is important for DNA repair in mitochondria. The main advantage of using a maltose binding protein tagged version of MGM-101 is that this version is less toxic, more soluble, and more stable than the non-tagged version. As a result, we can obtain a high-level expression of the native MGM-101 protein in E. coli. Hello, my name is Sarah Wurzbicki. I'm a senior research support specialist in Dr. Jinji Chen's lab here at SUNY Upstate Medical University. My colleague, Zhao